what's up everyone we are back with clicker heroes and the crazy thing is you know i'm like more excited to play this game than I, I am to play like arcade or anything else right now this is like super addicting and you probably will start seeing a lot more streams of this uh, or videos of this as we go you can see we're just slaughtering bosses i haven't logged on since the last video here we have an insane amount of money just used our skills right there So now we're going to go and spend our money. We have so much money that we've unlocked like several different heroes as we're away. All right, so let's uh, so buy one of the expensive heroes. So we just got a reward for plus one DPS. We're moving up on in the world here. As you move further up, you get more gold. So it pays to actually kill them. But then you also have to think strategically of like what monsters you can kill pretty quickly. So you'll notice as we get a little bit further on, it starts taking a little bit longer to kill. You can see instant kill is still, so it's still worthwhile for us to actually move up forward into the game. And then every five levels, you come across boss monsters that you can see take a little bit longer to kill, have a lot more life, and they also give you a lot more gold. You have a 30 second timer to kill them. If you don't, you have to go back and train some more, level up your heroes. So we can sit here and actually kill this boss for a while because one of the st uh, strategies and tips in this game is to go through the achievements here and actually look and see we've killed a thousand plus bosses. So we've unlocked this plus three DPS reward, which is huge. So now we're going to go ahead and try and kill 10,000 bosses so we can unlock another plus five DPS, which will be huge. The next one is at 100,000 bosses. So you can do this by farming easy, easy bosses and killing them instantly and you know crank this up really really quick you also have other achievements here for clicking and this we talked about this last video we ha this achievement is a hundred thousand clicks and it, it makes a little joke at you it says rest in peace mouse because uh, by a hundred thousand clicks you just destroyed your mouse And you do unlock these these skills over here, so we are excited to see what comes out, what comes, you know, next in the game, because each hero has some kind of like upgrade abilities. You have to get to a certain level to upgrade them, so it's definitely a really really fun game. And pretty much we've deducted that you don't need a click like at all, which is kind of good because, I mean, clicking will destroy your finger and destroy your mouse like that little thing says so you can just kind of like kill things with the dps and build up dps and you can just like okay what am i going to build up next and strategize and figure out what what kind of things you want to build and you can see like this guy right here the betty clicker gives you plus 20 percent dps to all your heroes so this is going to be a really really effective effective skill because it not only works on on her but it does everything else too. So you go ahead and level up to tw uh, 75, you unlock that, and then now when you unlock that, you unlock another one, you don't know what it's gonna be. So this one says increase your click damage by 0.5% of your total DPS. So again, that's for click damage. Click damage you know, doesn't appear to be worthwhile at all. You can see over here, our total DPS, we're doing 53,000 53, K DPS a second. And our click damage is only 136 damage per click. So we would have to click like a bajillion times to try and actually output enough damage for our clicking. Each level you have to kill 10 monsters to successfully go up to the next level. The gold kind of auto, uh, auto collects as well. So you can sit there, you can see we're not doing anything. And then now it's just auto collecting as it fills up on the map. And you can cursor over it, collect all that gold. They do have some really cool uh, monster animations here. And it's not always the same monster. You have some rare monsters in here, which look to be like the treasure chest. If you get a treasure chest, you get a lot more gold out of the treasure chest. See, we're not instantly killing them anymore. It's taking about one or two seconds to kill them. That just means we need more DPS. 
So you always kind of want to get um, like the first level of these guys so you can see what their skills are. Because like this one, this one had increase of 20% DPS for all your heroes. So this one was really worthwhile to level up. And then over here, you can actually um, push shift for 10 times. So if you want to level up 10 times, you can push Z to level them up 20 times or 25 times. And you can push control to level them up 100 times. So if you really just want to spam this guy and level him up, you can you know auto click 100 times over there. So those are really nice features. Again, the increase in the clicking damage really isn't helpful. We're not clicking at all. And then you have these skills over here like a um, MMO game. So this one is going to be from the Assassin. So if we unlock the Assassin here and level him up, then we're going to get this plus 50% chance from critical clicks for 30 seconds. So again, we don't really want that because we're not clicking. Uh, this right here, he increases your critical click chance by 3%. So we don't really want that. Like it, it's not really worthwhile for us. We want more DPS. And then typically in these games, you want the higher costing things. You'll see over here, this one gives you 188 million DPS. This one gives you, it's currently at 46. And when you upgrade it, it goes to 92. So that's an increase of around 46k DPS. So in this one, they actually kind of did it smartly, where if you uh, level this guy up four times, he's going to be uh, uh, roughly around the same DPS as this guy, and it'll be a lot cheaper. So this one is only going to cost you, what, like 28 million? Or whatever this is, 28. Uh, so it's going to cost you 28, where to buy this guy, it costs you 50. So it's cheaper to actually buy that guy. So go ahead and take a look here. This one is a 10k increase. So again, four of these is actually cheaper to buy than one of these. So it looks like it is better to kind of work your way up and kind of like staircase it. We'll go ahead and go to the next level. And so we're at a boss now. And the boss, you can see, we're not really killing so quickly. He's got a lot of life. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade this person here. So now, when you get into level 10, you unlock the ability to buy these skills right here. So we have it at level 10. Now we can double the DPS for this person, for this Ice Apprentice. We just need a little bit of money. We need um, a thousand million, it looks like. So like we can click, and the guy just goes like psycho. You can see his eyes bug out. It's kind of cool but it doesn't really do much for us. I guess we could try and potentially level up some of the um, weaker things since they are really easy to level up. And there might be achievements also for that because the achievements, they actually give you extra bonus DPS. So like this one is hoard 5,000 B gold. This one's hoard 500 Q gold. And they have a ledger over here of what everything means. This is heat zone, heat zones, heat zones. Hero souls. So no idea what a hero soul is yet. And then as you go along, uh, just like Cookie Clicker, there's going to be some like cool, random, different thing events type thing. We don't know what's going to happen. And that's part of the fun in these games is that you don't know what's going to happen next. I mean, there could be some crazy uh, you know, cookie apocalypse, and cookies could come flying out at us at the screen. Most likely, it's not going to happen, but you never know. I mean, that's the beauty of this thing. The curiosity in me, you know, it just eats away at, like, what's going to happen next? So if anyone has played this again, please do not spoil what happens going forward. Uh, it's it's the journey. It's the the experience of playing it and seeing what happens is the fun part. So if someone tells you, oh yeah, you get uh you get attacked by dragons and they spew out lava poison things and yeah, it kind of ruins it for you. You know, you want to experience it yourself. You want to go through the whole torture of waiting for all this stuff, building up your DPS, 
and building up your heroes and making your like force. So our skills are almost off cooldown. We're coming very, very close to getting our double DPS here. We'll go ahead and bust out our skills, and that should give us enough gold once we kill him several times to get our double DPS. Yep, so we just unlocked it, so now it's there, so now we can click on it. And that's a one-time purchase, and now it doubles up your DPS, and then it unlocks the next one. So at level 25, we can get another double DPS. So we have to level this guy up to 25 to get more DPS for all your Ice Apprentices. So that's going to do it here for this episode of Clicker Heroes. We will be back soon, sooner rather than later, because I definitely do want to uh, you know, see what happens moving forward. Anyway, thanks for watching.